Well guys, welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video and I can hear it already in the background. Oh no, it's not. It is. It is a printer. Printer, scanner, fax machine, every sort of thing on it. And the reason I'm doing this video is I got a, I think it was an email or was it a Facebook messenger from a guy who said he subscribed to my channel and goes by uh, the name. But I couldn't find it on YouTube, but it might be just an ADC uses on thing. Uh, Nicholas the Great. So Nicholas the Great, if you are watching this video, um, this is kind of you. He emailed me, and I think it was email or Facebook Messenger, one of the two, and asked, was there much gold recovery in printers and stuff like that, or is it worth taking them apart? So this one weighed about... 20 pound maybe 25 pound weight so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to scrap it out so um as you can see it um it's looks the same as any other printer it's a hp uh laser jet 3050 it's um probably got ink cartridges in there of some sort um at some stage somewhere if i could know where they are to pull them out but I'm sure it's there somewhere and um, so what am I going to do the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the screws I can see so all these screws in along here all that is going to be removed and um, again I'm not going to put you through all the boredom of seeing me remove every last screw you can pop that off really quick two more screws under here so we'll remove them screws um so it's just straightforward i'm going to remove all the screws to release the top first and once i've done that we'll have a look underneath and see what it looks like under the first layer and then we go to the next layer next layer, and then you guys can decide is it worth scrapping out are the boards worth it is there much waste well we all know there's going to be a lot of plastic because even looking at it here we're going to have a ton of plastic so by the power of some really class editing or just maybe jump into the scene where i've already removed the screws we'll have a look underneath and see it so boom 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 boom, boom. check it out guys. okay so i have i think removed uh, all the screws i'm hoping i've removed all the screws oh i moved the camera slightly so let me trust that the other way there we go so we'll lift this up feeds a bit looser screws are gone from all around here this comes off straight forward as we already done. Then we have this and we have a board on the back. So we're gonna leave that aside because there's a ton of screws in it. We'll leave that aside and hopefully we'll get some gold flashing under there, hopefully. So what happens next? Yes, this does come off. So we we'll close the lid down for a second and we're going to see, there we go. So. We have removed the top layer so we can see oh i know you can't see but hopefully you'll see now we've got some wire attached running in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my snips i'm going to probably snip that wire if i need to and um, may not need to maybe on a plug system in here so we we'll just detach the plug, hopefully. There we go, one plug out, and the other one goes in underneath it. And we have some sort of roller system here with a ribbon wire. So again, a bit of a low grade board here, which I'll take off. A um, bit of a better looking board, because we've got some nice MLCCs. Again, as I said, they could be magnetic, um, which makes them not as good. Um, but we'll add them with the rest of the MLCC, so I'll remove that board as well. We'll leave that aside for the moment. And we're into a motor. So we have a little motor here, which I need to remove next. Again, um, if it's straightforward, I'll remove it now. But if it's too awkward, we'll remove it off camera, because I don't want to keep the videos too long. So we'll just try and remove that. 
So we just have a bit of um, steel, a little copper bearing mortar, which can be put in with your copper bearing mortar, guys, if that's what you're into. Um, let me turn that camera a bit better so you can actually see what I'm doing here. So I'm just taking out these screws and the last one here. So hopefully that will release our motor. And there we go. A little copper bearing motor. So again, you can break that down further if you want to get the copper out of it or you can put it into your copper bearing motors. Um, cable goes a bit deeper and again we have another ribbon wire but it's no it's not gold flash by the looks of it it's um or actually it is yeah it is gold flash so that's better still so we've got some gold flash ribbon which i like so next layer to come off is going to be this layer so again we have some screws here um and some screws hidden down in these little holes along here and here so I'm going to do that again off camera so again by the magic of the editing you won't have to watch me taking off thin screws and we'll be taking off the next layer and we'll see what's under there we also have this little um, iron rod which hopefully I can take out there we go so we've just some cogs some belts um, so again if you have any use for that other than scrap maybe a use found for that at some stage but at the moment it's going to be just scrap into the into the um iron or um shred pile as you like to call it so i'm going to move these screws i'm going to take off the next layer and see what's on so guys after uh searching for screws i only found one screw which was up here on the top if i can bring you up there to see it there was only one screw here and the rest had no screws so i was trying to figure out what it was so found a button underneath that let the pop up like that and then there was little mechanisms spring-loaded mechanisms there on that which controlled the arm up or down to release the um well i've broken them but they used to um allow the door up or down so once i remove them it can pop straight off. So I'm just going to lie it back there because again, we still have a load of screws still. So there's another one of them spring mechanisms that I was on about that was holding that in place. So, so far, a lot of plastic and not a lot to show for it. So that was the button there that allowed that to open and then um, that allowed the door to pop up and also open this part here. If I can get it to open now again, it probably won't open for me. No, it won't. But in under here is where the um, ink was. So I also removed that while I was at it. So now that we're into this, I can see the screw here. And that's about it. So I don't see too many more screws anywhere. So again, I might as well just remove that screw while I'm at it. And um, have that out. At least it will allow me in a bit further and it's a different head so we need to change screwdrivers so hopefully this one will fit it it's just like a an earth cable or a cable of some ground or cable of some sort that was connected there to it. We proceed to do nothing. How we can connect. And again we have more cable running underneath. That's the screw I just took out. That's just some springs. And so I think the next job I have to do is I'm gonna to have to pop up all this case. So um I don't see any more screws so I'm presuming the rest of the screws are hidden behind this case which has to be I presume pop popped off all the way around so again rather than have you guys um, having to watch through that and um, stuff like that we'll just remove that case 
and in the meantime I'll cut this ribbon as well or pull these ribbons through or cut these wires so we can just remove that away from it to clear it out of the way so let's just do that okay so um, I've popped off the sides so second one over here just a matter of popping it off so we're exposing the sides so let's have a look and see what we have so on this side we have a nice looking board in all fairness to it Ooh, turn that the other way and um, so as you can see if I zoom in a small bit and we bring this down a bit we have some nice a nice cornered gold corner VGA with some nice IC chips and um, we again we have some ribbon wire connected so we'll just disconnect that ribbon wire hold on to them ribbon wires so again are they gold or are they silver uh, very it's like a silvery color on the end of them ones so as you can see that seems to be silver no gold on them so we'll put that aside and uh, what else are we here same again is it yeah, so um, slight gold tinge to it, but no, silver. There we go, when we turn it up, we get the right colour. So silver again on the end of them, while well, silvery, it might be silver, it could be zinc, it could be anything, it's just a silvery colour. Um, and what type of heads have we? Inside here on these boards. This screwdriver. Let me zoom back out so you can see what's happening. There we go. So I'm just removing the screws and we'll get this board off and see if what's it like on the other side. Is it um, any nice little materials worth it for the um, gold recovery? So it's always good if you can find a printer that has at least a gold corner VGA, it'll make it a mid-range board to a higher, higher grade board. Um, depending on what else is on the board, but at least I know this will be a mid-grade range at least, in my reckoning. Again, in the comments guys, if you think this board is high or mid-ranged, or even low grade, do you think this is, would you class this as a low grade board? Which I wouldn't, but would you? It all depends what you would class it yourself so I think I've removed all the screws even a bit of a there's even a battery in here crystal oscillators so we'll just remove these plugs from it and another ribbon wire over here and another plug down here so I think that's everything removed from it so we'll see will it pop out no, there's still something holding it somewhere. There's always something holding them. So it could be here where they're joined here. So I may have to take off this secondary board. Again, the secondary board um, doesn't seem to be, it seems to be more like a power board than an actual circuit board as in the components on it seem to be more related to maybe power. Maybe it could be an internet board. Maybe this had Wi-Fi. Um, it was had an internet connection, so it is an internet board, yeah. So this is the the board that controlled where it connected to the network. So you could send your whatever needs to be printed from the la computers all the way along through the network to the board. So it just um, that's what that's this board is for. I'll get it out now and we'll get a better look at it. Hopefully. So it was one screw who just want to want to uh, cooperate, but we'll get them. There we go. So there we go. So that's what was holding it in was that other board. So um, again, that we should have some gold connectors in there. I'm hoping that there's yeah. So we have some little gold pins in there. Um, so that was the board for the the Wi-Fi. Um, or not the Wi-Fi, the Ethernet cable for the networks. So again, we'll have some gold uh, wires in there, gold plated. 
um, gold flashed, whatever way you want to call it. And again, in here, there should be some little gold connectors as well. So that's what's in them. On the reverse side of this board, we have just a few IC chips. We have a, if you can see there, if I zoom in. So you can see these are, I'll get my screwdriver again, sorry. Get my thumbs out of the way. So there's little gold caps on the ends of them. So these like little gold cap fuses or relays or whatever. So again, if you know what this is guys, let me know in the comments. Um, I do always collect them up and I usually smash them and put the gold in when I'm doing gold pins or something. So again, we have them up here. You can see them here again. Just little gold plating on the ends of them. Um, our MLCCs and some more MLCCs down along here. So this board is fairly good for MLCCs on the back side and again on this side we have our crystal oscillators, our, um, our gold corner VGA, our IC chips, flat packs and whatever, let me see is there anything else really there, some more MLCCs down there, some more IC chips. Um, so that's kind of it on there. Um, that again, you can see the gold plating in there. Um, so that again was where, where it was connected to the internet. So let me zoom back out. I like this new form with the zoom, it's really cool. Um, so that's the one board. So what's on the other side, you ask? So we're going to flip it over and we're going to have a look. I'm just have a look at them pins there. Let's zoom in and see, can I? No, no need to, because you can't see what it is, so. It's, and so far, I've managed not to get any ink on my hands, which is amazing. So this is the power board over this side. So, um, again, just disconnect. Again, it's not gold plated. And um, another secondary power board here of sorts, whatever that one is. Looks like it's not gonna come out too easy, but we'll get to round two. So I'm gonna pause it there. I'm just gonna take out all these screws. So again, same as I did on the far side, we'll take it out and we'll have a look and see what's on that board. Okay, so um, I've removed the screws so we can get the power board off. So there's our power board. So what will I be taking off the power board? Um, I'll take off these copper spools. I'll take off that bit of copper. Um, I'll take off the transformers that have the copper in them. The aluminium heatsink. Uh, some more little copper spools will be in there. There'll be, uh, that's a switch. So that switch will hopefully contain some silver and also has some brass by the looks of it there. So that switch will be taken off and we'll try and get the save that up in switches up for maybe some silver recover videos uh, at some stage and that would be kind of it really on that i don't think there's anything else i'll take off that board it's a fairly low grade board and um, but that's about it so that's the low grade board um okay so where to next so we're getting there we have another board left here but that screw is in here and it doesn't look like there's anything on that board worth even looking at but let's bend them back so you can see there he's held on by these little twist clips so we just straighten them out and then do the same on this one oh gone too far and where else is that it so then he should hopefully pop up so that board i do not know what the purpose of it is I cannot figure that out. Just what's it connected to? What's it there for? So again, anyone know what that's about? Let me know in the comments. Um, I might remove the solder mask when I'm doing some mobile phones again and just see what's under it. See if it's just a basic board or if there's anything worth taking from under it. So then we have some more screws under here. So. Again, I might as well remove the lot and get a look inside to see what's in here. Um,
So there he is, taken off. Um, this one in here, might as well do it as well. It's obviously holding some plates, so we might as well remove them. And that's a different type head. So mm, I'm going to leave him yet and take him off in a second. So next thing I'm going to do is just have a quick look around the printer and see if anywhere else. So I've removed the screws from under here, so we might as well pull this out if I can. I hear a lot of springs and stuff. So again, there's a wire holding in there. So we'll try and remove that. We'll cut the wire. Make it easy to come off. So, bunch of wires up here that we might as well just cut out. So, there we go. Oh. Still got one wire, of course. There'll always be one or two that won't want to give up the fight. Oh, oh we got some ink on my hands. Um, so, I won't break that down any further, uh, to be honest. And again, low grade board, not on it. I'm not going to do anything else on that. So that's put aside and we'll have a look into the carcass and see if there be anything else I would take off. It doesn't look like it. it, looks like it's just all shred steel from there on in. May possibly, no that's not a board, I thought there was a board. A little board up here, not worth the hassle. Um, so I think that's it for that bit. So then the last bit that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and um, take the screws out of there and we're going to have a look under that and see if that's oh, with a bit of luck if it's gold bit of gold plating I would be quite happy with that um, so you can see they're all torque screws so we Try and get the right size torque, so too big. We'll have to go down to the next size. If I can find the right one, is the next question. Um, I might have to do it off screen if this one doesn't fit. No, it doesn't. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, go section through all these little torque screws to see which one will fit it. I hate when that happens. Um, all best laid plans, but you always have to have a different size screw. So this is my no, all too big. So I'm going to have to um, resort to maybe a smaller set of screwdrivers. So let me see where they are. Here they are beside me. So hopefully we have something in this one that'll fit it. <laughs> Not too bad. I think that will be the one. But could be wrong. As soon as I go to unscrew, we'll know. No, that's him. So we're going to take all these off. So I'm going to pause it there while I remove all of these. And we'll see um, what we have under this. Okay, so I've finally got all them screws out. And as you can see, before we even do it, we have some gold flashing here on the back. Um, so I'm hoping on the other side, we will have more gold. So, dun, dun, dun. So yes, we do. So again, with some nice gold flashing, very thin, can barely feel it. Um, Underneath that will usually be a gold again. I, if I, when I break them off, I put them in my um, caps from the gold corner BGAs for a process and a further date. We'll take off the little LCD screen and underneath there, we, again, we have flashing. So 
and another one of them little black caps if I can I usually try and bend them there and that usually breaks off a little corner and you can get in under with a screwdriver but not this time because why would it work when you're doing a video um, so that's the breakdown of that printer now the big question is is it worth it to me as a hobby yes because it gives me gold bearing materials so um for the rest of the stuff that i'm going to be doing the videos so again these gold corner caps and the um the underneath of it where i've done videos before you'll see where i got the gold the ic chips i can use in future videos and get gold from them um but if i was doing this for a living and not a hobby and not just doing it for getting a bit of gold stuff like that um i probably it wouldn't break it down as far as this i'd probably just smash the sides take out the um, boards and leave the tops and the rest of the stuff that reminds me um i still have the top just give me a second there guys i just want to have a look at it and see if there's anything that I need there. Um, no, again, there is no controls, there's nothing on it. So that won't be broken down any further. There's a bit of a motor in there and that's it. But again, that's not what I break them down for. Would you would you break it down just if you were doing it for um copper and stuff? No. Probably not. You just get a little motor and a bit of steel. So you probably is well off if you're doing this as a living. Um, rather than waste your time, whatever length of time this took me to break down, um, you would be probably more productive breaking something down which had better copper in it, uh, like a microwave or something like that, rather than breaking down a printer. But for me, uh, for the e-waste recovery, yes, I will be breaking them down because again, I'll have that gold flashing, not much, but it all adds up. Uh, straightforward to get off, not a hard thing to get removed from the board. Again, I can check with um, removing the solder mask to see if there's any more gold flashing under there. Sometimes you might be lucky, and this might be gold flashed as well. Um, let me see if I can just do a scratch test on it and see if anything shows up. So, nothing really. No, I don't see. I think it's coppery shine underneath there. So it doesn't look like there's any, we'll just get a sharper knife and we'll do a little, try and do a scratch test here. So again, I can't even see anything there. So it's either a thick layer or there's nothing under there at all. I can see a little bit of a flick there of, um, looks like copper. But then again, it could be gold. So that looks like it could be gold wire actually running along there. So what I'll do is I'll, um, when I'm treating this, when I'm doing my mobile phones again, taking off the um, lye from the boards or using lye to take off the solder mask, I'll put them in with it as well. So the answer, um, is it worth it? I go yes, but leave in the comments whether you break down your printers or whether you um, just throw them into shred as they are and um, that's all you do with them or do you actually break them down to, for the gold recovery material if you're into gold recovery or do you just ignore them like the plague and try and stay away from them so guys until the next video uh thanks for watching thanks to any new subscribers thanks to the subscribers who sent that uh, in and wanted to know that bit of information uh, what's inside the printer is it worth taking it apart if it's for gold recovery and that's what you're concentrating on yes every bit of material you can get that has gold recovery in it is worth breaking down if you're trying to make a living out of this and you're in the scrap business and you're trying to uh, move stuff through as quick as you can and make money as quick as you can, no, I wouldn't bother breaking down these printers. So, um, till the next one, guys, give a thumbs up and um, catch you all later. Keep on looking for that gold.